Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from Toasty DIY, and I'm here with a very quick video to show you how you can get the best quality recording settings for your desktop recordings or live streams or whatever you might be doing on a M1 MacBook. Now, the program of choice that I use and I am using right now is OBS. And if you're not familiar with OBS, if you just use a MacBook for schoolwork, office work, or things like that, OBS is very popular in the live streaming community, but it is absolutely great for doing screen recordings, whether you're doing some online school, if you have to record some lectures, um, any sort of demonstration on your laptop. OBS is really awesome for that and it is very versatile and very easy to set up, especially with your M1 MacBook. Right now I am recording my desktop using the webcam built into the laptop and the audio sounds pretty good and also the video quality should be pretty crisp as well. But all you have to do with OBS is go install OBS from their website, um, use the M1 Mac version. There is a version designed for MacBooks. Be sure to download that. And the settings you're going to want to use are as follows. If you go into the settings tab right here once you open up OBS by default when you first install it it's going to try to auto optimize some settings don't worry about those settings they're not really ones you want to use but if we go into the settings tab here you will see that we have output options and right here it's going to be under simple mode but switch it to advanced it allows you to do some cool things that will well make your audio and everything sound a little bit better your video look better and change some encoder settings speaking of encoder settings as you can see right here we are not using x264 which is the default option. We're using the Apple VT H264 software encoder, which allows for, well, some better recording quality along with less load on your CPU. So it allows that GPU to do a little bit more work. So use the H264 software encoder. It does allow for some better overall performance. And if for some reason you want to do some gameplay recording or something on your N1 Mac, you definitely can do that using this recorder and not lose much performance. I like to rescale the output to 1080p just to make things more standardized. Um, the M1 MacBook is in a different aspect ratio. So all the recordings, as you can see, have a little black bar right here for the desktop. Really no way to change that unless you go into your M1 MacBook and change the resolution of it to a standard 16 by nine aspect ratio, like 1080p, 1440p. Um, but don't really worry about that. The black bars aren't super annoying. And in my opinion, I would just leave it as is just for ease of use. In terms of bitrate, you can go whatever you want with this. My, me personally, for a local recording, um, I like to go 6,000 kilobits per second. Keyframe and roll set the two if I want to do live streaming. Twitch really likes keyframe interval set to two. So if you want to stream to Twitch or anything like that, would set that as an option. And the profile is high and I just leave everything else checked the same. Now you see I'm under the streaming tab. You could do the exact same thing under the recording tab if you want to, but the best way to just make things super simple for streaming and recording is keep the same settings. Recording technically you can go higher quality because you're not using your internet connection to stream. So you don't have to worry about your internet being the bottleneck, but with this setup, all you have to do if you want to use the same settings for recording and streaming is check this little box right here, or well, use encoder. It says use stream encoder. So it's going to use the same exact settings that are right here. And as you can tell, I think the quality looks pretty good. Um, you can do some emulation streaming. You can do some uh, easy recordings for online classes. And I'm very impressed with this whole setup. The M1 Mac has a really good built-in microphone. The webcam is not the greatest. It's only 720p, but it does still look pretty good. And in this office environment with a lot of stuff going on the microphone does a good job at blocking out all the background noise so yeah that's pretty much it if you have any questions on how to set up obs for whatever reason you're using obs on your m1 mac let me know down below if you have any other tutorial requests for m1 macbooks please let me know i'd be happy to dive into some other stuff as i'm starting to learn the apple ecosystem so once again guys be sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one